Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Breville Fresh and Furious Blender. It measures 17 inches tall, 8.5 inches wide, and 7 inches deep. The cord length is about 40 inches, and it has an assist plug which is useful. On the bottom of the base there is cord storage. Included is an instruction book with a blending chart with the food, quantity, functions, and time listed, and recipe cards for green smoothies, fruit smoothies, barbecue sauce, dressings, and hummus. The jug is BPA free and holds 50 ounces or 1.5 liters. There are measurements in cups and liters. There is a max line so don't fill above that. The lid has a ring that you can pull so it's easier to take off after blending. There is an inner lid that you can remove while blending to add ingredients like oil. Stainless steel blades. The base has an on off button. Auto clean. With auto clean you just put a little bit of soap and warm water in the jug Press auto clean, it'll count down and just run the blender. Green smoothie, auto pulse ice crush, and smoothie. These three are pre-programmed cycles. When you use any of these three, the timer screen will count down from 60 seconds and stop automatically. There are five speeds, one for mix, two for chop, three for blend, four for puree, and five for liquefy. When you use any of these five speeds, the timer will count up to 60 and turn off. While you're blending, you can change the speed by pressing a different button. The blender and lid can be washed in warm soapy water and dried. The jug is dishwasher safe. The lid is top rack dishwasher safe. Wipe the base with a damp cloth and dry. If the blender is overloaded, there will be an overload warning that will flash on the screen. Unplug the unit, wait 30 minutes before using. The jug simply sits on the base with the handle facing either side. First I'll make a green smoothie. It's Breville's green smoothie recipe from the cards. Add water or coconut water, one and a half cups. Cucumber cut up, one pear cut up, kale, just the leaves, not the stem. I'll just tear it up. Squeeze of lime juice. And a couple of ice cubes, about five. It's just about reached the max line. Put the lid on, press on, and we'll use the green smoothie cycle. The volume is comparable to most powerful blenders. It's bearable, not ear-piercingly loud like some of the other blenders I've reviewed. The blender didn't move around on the counter at all. Just lift up. Looks smooth. Everything's processed. I'll give it a taste. I was expecting some grittiness, but surprisingly the kale is processed really well and it's smooth. There's almost no grittiness and that's impressive for a mid-price blender. I've put a little soap and warm water in the blender, press on, and use auto clean. If you want to try out this Breville, I've put a link right below this video. and the cycles ended after 60 seconds. You saw during the cycle the water is pushed all the way up to the lid and I used three cups of water and um, nothing spilled out but I would suggest using uh, the two cups that's recommended in the manual. It's already pretty clean except for the spout and the lid is pretty clean too. You just have to rinse it out in water. Now I'll make a fruit smoothie using the smoothie cycle. I've always got cut up pineapple in the freezer so I'm gonna use that as well as some frozen mango.
pineapple juice. And some honey. It's a very tropical smoothie. After 60 seconds, it's done. Turn it off. Sometimes after blending, the lids can get really stuck on. This ring on the lid does help pull it off easier. It smells so good. Mmm, it's so delicious. It's icy cold, smooth, and creamy. This is perfect for all you pineapple lovers. Again, everything is processed. Let's make a pina colada. Pineapple juice. Rum. Cream of coconut. And ice cubes. And I'll use the button in the middle, the Auto Pulse Ice Crush button. and it turns off by itself. That was 60 seconds. You notice the blender did move around on the counter a little bit. Turn it off. I don't see any chunks. A piece of pineapple for garnish. I'll give it a taste. It's perfect. The ice is crushed nicely, smooth, creamy, really good pina colada. I made a standard pina colada recipe with two cups of ice cubes, half a cup of pineapple juice, half a cup of cream of coconut, the rum, you can put in as much or little as you like. I used about three ounces. There are two suction feet on the bottom. I think it would have been better to have four and that may have helped the base from not moving around a bit when I was making the pina colada. You saw how this breville did on the smoothies, ice, frozen fruit, and kale. You don't need the pina colada in the shot because I already drank it. If you're looking for a mid-price blender, I think this Breville is a pretty good option. It's on the narrower side and doesn't take up too much space on your counter. And it's also light enough to move around easily. It's not so heavy and cumbersome like some other blenders. If you want to try out this Breville, I've put a link right below this video. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching.